नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू स्टडी आई क्यू आई एम योर फ्रेंड राहुल साय गांवकर द एजेंडा ऑफ टूडेज डिस्कशन इज कनेक्टेड टू साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी वेर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ न्यू ट्रीटमेंट मेथोडोलॉजी और अ न्यू थेरेपी टू ट्रीट कैंसर आर डिस्कशन इज अबाउट कार टी थेरेपी इट इज अ इम्यूनो थेरापिक सोल्यूशन टू फाइट कैंसर आई एम क्वाइट श्योर इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यूपीएस सिविल सर्विस एग्जामिनेशन यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड अबाउट कार टी थेरेपी बिकॉज इट इज इन न्यूज इन द लास्ट फ्यू ईयर्स but why we are discussing this today is because it's a very big news for india we have developed our own indigenous car t therapy you can see here iit bombay based startup immuno act it received approval from cdsco the central drug standard control organization of india which comes under the ministry of health and family welfare they have approved the car t therapy by iitb startup and now we will see that immunotherapy based treatments in indian hospitals very very soon in this video lecture we will understand about this treatment methodology which immuno act has developed we'll also talk about in general what is the meaning of car t therapy or car t based treatment for cancer and what are the trends that are going on in terms of research that would also be discussed at the end of this video lecture it's a very important discussion from upsc civil services perspective you can expect questions in mcq or questions in prelims where you might be asked a question what is car t therapy connected with or there can be a stand alone question for mains in recent times car t therapy has been has been in news or or it is it has become quite uh, relevant so what is the meaning of car t therapy what are the uses etc such questions can come so you must be prepared for those you're going to get very good fodder to answer such questions for examination stay tuned to get all the information all right let's begin but before that to all the upsc civil services aspirants study iq's batch 3 of p2i prelims to interview initiative it is beginning in november we have different formats hindi english and a bilingual format hindi plus english that means the the teaching and the content delivery would be in these formats they are starting at different dates you can choose according to your convenience just visit our website studyiq.com You get all the details there. Enroll now. I'll see you in the class. All right. right. Let's begin our discussion about the cancer treatments. But before that, let's first understand what is the meaning of cancer. Now, cancer is a disease where some of the body cells. It can be any part. Cancer can occur in any part of the body, in any cells of the body. Basically, the cell division becomes uncontrollable. That means the the division of cell there is some sort of mismatch. Now. many people ask many many students come and ask sir is cancer a genetic disorder or or is it an inheritance based disorder see it may be inheritance based disorder but if you ask is cancer connected to genes is cancer connected to dna yes why because wherever that that cell division is occurring at uncontrollable level that means there is some sort of dna mismatch or dna problem with respect to cell division with respect to mitosis because of which it is uncontrollable now you ask sir what are the reasons for that dna mutation it might be some environmental factor it might be radiation based factor it might be because of smoking it might be because of drinking it might be because of, of your your genes because of your lineage as well so there can be multiple factors environmental factors lifestyle factors or the genetic factors itself but at the fundamental level the meaning of cancer is the cell division which normally is again it is controlled through the dna information only the cell division is uncontrolled that means some sort of a tumor is created a tumor can happen in any part of the body it can happen anywhere it can even happen in the blood means the the cell division or the cell functioning of the blood cells it changes that is the meaning of cancer and cancer are of different types cancer based on different types of cells or tissues for instance carcinoma it is connected to your skin cells your epithelial cells sarcoma it is connected to your bones it's a cancer of your bones myeloma is the plasma cells which manufacture the antibodies there is leukemia leukemia is blood cancer and there is lymphoma now lymphoma it is connected to your immune system where your b cells basically b cell division or b cell functioning is disrupted apart from that it can also be a mixed type of cancer it can happen in any part of the body all right for cancer we have different kinds of treatment methodologies now when i say cancer and and the tumor connected with it the tumor can be benign it does not impact 
the body it can be malignant malignant tumors are very very dangerous and for these cancerous tumors we have different treatment methodologies a treatment methodology can be hormone based hormone therapies are available there is also surgery option of surgery always available if there is a tumor make an incision cut surgically remove the tumor but in many of these cases the occurrence or relapsing of relapsing into cancer are high there is also bone marrow transplantation which is an option especially for leukemia blood cancer the two most two most frequently used treatment methodologies are chemotherapy and radiation therapy now chemotherapy is a use of very high dose chemicals to treat cancer to treat cancerous cells or to remove those cancerous cells radiation therapy is a kind of targeted therapy targeted therapy also includes different protein based therapies where the growth of cancerous cells is slowed down and eventually to eliminate it but in most of these treatment methods what happens is there is always a chance of recurrence of cancer or chance of relapsing the patient may relapse into cancer again in recent times there is another treatment method immunotherapy now immunotherapy or immunomodulation therapy it plays around with your immune system basically our body has an immune system right if there is something wrong with my body my immune system should act on it so try to strengthen your immune system itself so that it fights cancer that is the basic idea behind immunotherapy and the car t therapy that we are talking about which the iit bombay based incubator has developed that comes under immunotherapy itself so let's try to understand what is this therapy which has been developed by the iit bombay based company called as immunoact as i told you recently iit bombay supported company immunoact adoptive cell therapy they have received approval from cdsco for their product the product is called as nexcar 19 nexcar 19 its technical term has been given actylo captagen autoleucine right now this is used to treat two kinds of cancer specifically one is lymphoma that is the the cancer which impacts your your immune system itself b cell lymphoma and also leukemia this is a indigenously developed product or indigenously developed therapy now please understand you must have heard about car t treatments before as well most of them predominantly in usa and uk car t therapies are already active there many patients from india they used to travel to up, travel abroad to get that treatment especially uh, the rich and wealthy patients they have traveled abroad to get the car t therapy based treatment now question is sir what is this car t therapy now let's first understand car t therapy then talk about the immuno act product now you do know that we have our immune system as i told you whenever we get sick or whenever we have some sort of disease our immune system must act in our immune system we have different kinds of cells for instance uh, we have uh, neutrophils we have lymphocytes there are two kinds of lymphocytes the b lymphocytes the t lymphocytes right we also have uh, uh, monocytes right we have eosinophils and we have basophils as well so lympho lymphocytes are very important cells which fight against diseases which fight against foreign agents now you do know b cells these b cells they attack invaders if there is a pathogen then some sort of antibody is produced and b cell will kill that pathogen if there is a virus bacteria which enters my body then my b cell will get activated and it will try to finish off that foreign agent but if there is something wrong in my cells itself that means if there are some infected cells in my body then t cell is going to repair it now you are thinking sir we already have this immune system then what is the case of cancer See, in cancer these t cells they are not able to identify those cancerous cells that is the basic problem if, if t cells were active and they are, they are able to identify the cancerous cells because cancerous cells are body cells only which which have mutated and which are now dividing uncontrollably that is why the tumor is created if t cell identified it it would finish it but the t cell is not identifying it my immune system is not responding towards that cancer so car t therapy what it does it basically tweaks these t cells a special kind of protein called as chimeric antigen receptor protein is now introduced on these t cells now it can be introduced through different methods it can be introduced through say uh, different chemical methods it can be introduced through uh, say gene therapy or gene editing these days we talk about gene genetically modified t cells as well in car t therapy what we do is we modify the car t cells to add a protein which is called as car protein chimeric antigen receptor protein now the job of this car protein is help the t cells to identify 
another specific protein on the cancerous cell and catch hold of it and end the cancer cell. That is the basic idea of CAR T therapy. Remember, T cell is modified. As another kind of specific thing is added, specific protein is added to it. We are not going to technicalities of, technicalities of how it is done because we do not need it from UPSC civil services perspective. So I hope you have understood the concept. Now here, what, what Immuno Act has done? Immuno Act's idea is the patient's blood cells are extracted. The patient's blood cell. What blood cells? Specifically, white blood cells are extracted. Out of these white blood cells, you get your T cells as well. So T cell extraction is done using leukapheresis. And these T cells are now subjected to some sort of chemical changes in which the CAR, that is chimeric antigen receptor protein is added to these T cells. And these modified T cells are now introduced into the patient's body. That is the basic treatment method. Why? Because our T cells, if they were naturally active, they would have finished off the cancer. But they are not able to identify the cancer cells. Now, what this CAR protein does on the T cell, it helps these T lymphocytes or T cells to identify another protein called as CD9. Now, this CD9 protein is there on the cancerous cells. So, the CAR protein will identify CD9 and immediately the cancerous cell is finished. That is the basic technique behind this cancer therapy or this cancer treatment. Questions can appear on this itself. As I told you, MCQ can be created. What is CAR-T connected with or what is this CAR-T technology? You need to understand the method or the methodology behind that. Right? That's why I focused here on the immune system, immune-based cells. We have B cells, we have T cells. We modify T cells. All right? That is the basic CAR T therapy. Now, question comes up. Now, question comes up. Sir, uh, the Immuno Act company, it has developed treatment methodology. Is it available now? Or when will it be available? It will be available soon in different hospitals. So, what can I treat? Can I treat all types of cancers through this? No. Right now, clinical trials have been successful in treating leukemia, that is blood cancer patients and lymphoma. That means immune, immune based cancer or your immune system based cancer, lymphomas the cancer with your B cells basically and these cancers of B cells are quite prominent even in children you need to you need to note that whatever clinical trials have happened first on the animals then later on on the humans they have been quite successful from the immuno act company it is suggested that this CAR T therapy is right up there with the other CAR T therapies which are which are used predominantly in US UK in other countries in fact, the toxicity levels are minimum. There is minimal neurotoxicity because of this treatment. Many a times what happens is when you activate, when you activate your uh, immune system, there is always a possibility of cytokine release syndrome. Now, this cytokine release syndrome, it leads to, it leads to unprecedented action of immune system on certain cells, which later on leads to problems or inflammation on that bo body part. You must have heard about these cytokine release syndrome, especially during COVID-19, right? B because of COVID-19 infection, many patients, they lost their life because of cytokine storms or cytokine release syndrome, which led to hyperinflation later on to multiple organ failures. Right now, the treatment has been tested, especially on, on uh, older patients, that is 15 years and above, patients have been tested. Pediatric trials are going on. so. Children right now who are suffering from especially uh, the B cell lymphoma treatment would not be available for them, although clinical trials are going on. Very important question, sir. What would be the cost of the treatment? In India, the cost would be reduced by at least one tenth. But despite that, I would say that there, there would be a problem of inequality because still the treatment would be very, very costly. Right now, the Immuno Act is. Uh, is, in, uh, is in the process of obtaining licenses and then they are onboarding different hospitals. They have announced that they will be preferring the uh, Tata hospitals as their partner. Tata hospitals are available in Mumbai and other cities as well. In fact, other hospitals are also in talks with Immuno Act in, in bigger cities like, uh, like Mumbai, Delhi, Hyderabad, etc. And many different hospitals, probably Novartis, Fortis, other hospitals would also be onboarded soon where this treatment would be available. And this treatment, as of now, according to Immuno Act, it costs somewhere in the range of 30 to 40 lakh. 30 to 40 lakh. Now you must be thinking this is still quite high. And most of our health insurances, they would not cover this, isn't it? Because 
वट एवर हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस कवर इट इट वुड कवर समवेयर अराउंड फाइव लैक टेन लैक बट स्टिल दिस इज क्वाइट हाई बट इट इज मच बेटर इन कंपेरिजन टू वॉट पीपल यूज टू शेल आउट वेन दे गो अब्रॉड इफ यू गो अब्रॉड इन यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स द कॉस्ट ऑफ कार टी थेरेपी वुड गो टू थ्री टू फोर क्रोर दिस वुड बी अ टेंथ ऑफ दैट अगेन इन द अपकमिंग इयर्स इम्यूनो एक्ट हेज अनाउंस दैट देयर टारगेट इज टू प्रोवाइड दिस ट्रीटमेंट probably around 10 lakh rupees which would be affordable to an insurance i would say but this is a very big developmental step for india where we have got indigenously indigenously developed car t therapy which some of the developed countries do not have all right us has it uk has it but not all the developed countries have this indigenous car t therapy at their places in their countries india is now one of those countries which provides car t therapies which is indigenously developed all right now if you talk about the recent trends i'm I, i'm quite sure you must have heard about car t trials car t uh, cases right car t cases car t uh, based therapy success cases from uk from us etc but since the emergence of crispr technology crispr technology is a gene editing technology clustered regularly in the spaced palindromic repeats this is this is a technique or this is a this is called as a molecular scissoring technique where gene editing can be done precisely and very easily and crispr based testing is right now going on car t cell therapy how not through a chemical method but studying the t cell studying the t cell and changing the genetic structure of this t cell so that it incorporates that car protein on it without any sort of chemicals or without any any external agents basically through genetic modification itself and that is uh, that is something which is in vogue and in testing as of now and the same process applies for any kind of car t treatment as i told you the patient's white blood cells are taken out of those white blood cells through the leukapheresis the t cells are collected t cells are separated and these t cells are now genetically modified so that a chimeric antigen receptor protein is now active on it this car chimeric antigen receptor protein on the t cell it will help it will help this t cell to identify the cancerous cell and end that cancerous cell that's the basic treatment methodology i hope it's clear i repeated it again because if 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 it comes in mains you can use a simple kind of flow chart or a diagram also to explain it in in very few words all right right if any update or any news comes on this we will have a discussion again but i hope you have gotten enough fodder on car t therapy if any questions appears on it i hope you will get it easily thank you for watching this video jai hind